We have a wide variety of glassware and equipment that lets us measure liquid reagents in various different ways. And the one important thing that we've got to do is always think about why we're measuring liquid reagent. If we just need an approximate value, something like a beaker or an Erlenmeyer flask works. If we don't know how much we need, but we need to know exactly how much we've used, then a burette is probably a good bet for us. But what if we're doing an experiment where we either need to use a very specific amount of reagent, or we need to make a very specific amount of reagent? Those are the times when volumetric glassware comes into play. So let's first talk about measuring an exact amount of liquid. Usually when we want to do that, we're going to use something called a pipette. So this is a volumetric pipette. Let's take a little tour of what we've got in this piece of glassware. So let's start down at the tip and really doesn't look that much different from a burette tip. It's just a very small opening, usually referred to as a jet tip that lets us dispense liquids. As we move up, we get to usually a bulb of some sort that lets us hold a larger volume of liquid. The bulb usually also has the size of the pipette listed. So this particular pipette is a five milliliter pipette. As we keep moving up, we get to some of the more important things. So first of all, let's come in a little closer. We come up to a calibration mark. So if we fill this pipette up to that calibration mark and then let it drain, we will have dispensed the calibrated amount. And like with everything else, let's make sure that we read the rest of the label. This is a class A pipette. That probably doesn't mean a whole lot to us right now. It's five milliliters. It's made by Kymax in the USA. And what else does it say? It says TD 26 sec 20 degrees C. So what does that TD really mean? When we're using glassware that's calibrated TD, that means that this piece of glassware is calibrated to deliver, that's the TD, the calibrated amount of liquid, in this case five milliliters, and what the rest of that, it should take about 26 seconds at 20 degrees Celsius to, met, to deliver five milliliters of liquid reagent. So again, watch your labels. Your labels will tell you most of what you need to know. Now for the hard part, how do we use this thing? Well, first of all, let's go with green. Probably the most important thing that you can do is remember how not to use this. So first of all, this never goes into a big stock bottle. Now in this case I could probably get away with it because this is green food coloring in water and I'm not doing a real experiment. But it's better practice to never let yourself stick a pipette into a stock bottle. So we need a secondary container. Sounds like a perfect job for a beaker. So I've got my 150 milliliter beaker. Let me pour some of this liquid green reagent in. And now, how do I get the liquid from there to there? Well, in the past, you would use this like a drinking straw. You'd stick it in there and, but that's probably not a good idea because you don't know where this has been and you're probably going to be using liquids that are a little bit more hazardous than green food coloring in water. So, rather than mouth pipetting, we're going to use a pipette bulb. Now this pipette bulb, this particular kind has a little rubber insert on the white plastic part that forms a nice tight seal. So we're going to dip the tip of the pipette into our colored liquid and 
use the pipette to draw it up. Now notice I'm holding on to the pipette bulb because once I get the liquid past the calibration line, I need to take this off. There's no way that you are going to be able to carefully control the pressure on this bulb so that you get the liquid right at the line you're looking at. So always draw liquid up past the calibration. The calibration mark on this pipe bed is right about here. And then let the liquid drain back out. And we want the bottom of the meniscus to be at the calibration line. So there's my calibration line. I want to get level with it and then let the liquid slowly drain down until the bottom of that meniscus is right at the calibration line. Now at this point, if we look down at the bottom, we might have a little bit of a drop hanging off the tube. We want to get rid of that by touching it to the side of the container we just took it out of. So I just wiped it up the side of that container. Now what about this pipette? This does not contain five milliliters because what? This is calibrated to deliver five milliliters. So let's find something to deliver it into. I've got an Erlenmeyer flask here. So now I can take my finger off and we can let the liquid drain out of this pipette. And it's going to take a little while and this one what? It's at about 26 seconds. So if we're at 20 degrees and 20 and it takes 26 seconds, okay. So you see we're getting to the bottom, it's coming out slowly. You can touch this to the inside of what you're delivering it into. And now here's the important part. If you look at the tip of that pipette, there's still a little bit of liquid left in it. It's very important that that liquid is in there. Because what? This pipette is calibrated to deliver five milliliters. So any liquid that stays in the tip is supposed to stay in the tip. So the thing that everyone's always tempted to do is, well, take that bulb and blow all the liquid out. But what have I just done? I've just delivered more than five milliliters. So avoid that temptation. Be patient with pipettes. Let them drain in their own time. And if there's some left in the tip, which there always will be, leave it there because it's supposed to be there. That's a volumetric pipette. Now, I've got another pipette over here that has kind of an interesting little feature to it. So let's take a really close look at the calibration mark on this eight milliliter pipette. So again, standard pipette, there's the tip, the bulb says it's eight milliliters, and we've got a bunch of writing at the top, but what's going on with that calibration mark? This pipette has two calibration marks. If you look at that top one, what does that top one say? It says TD. So if we bring liquid up to this top calibration mark, this pipette will deliver eight milliliters of liquid. What's this other one? The other mark that you see here is labeled TC. And TC means to contain. So if we were to bring the liquid up to the TC line on this pipette, then this eight milliliter pipette would contain eight milliliters of liquid. 